checklist. Oxygen set uh, 10 to 100 percent. Light instruments uh, heading is good with altimeter 3045. Parking brake is uh, released and out. Every pilot I've talked to loves flying the airplane. As soon as you strap that airplane on, it's like you're a part of it. I mean, it is the finest built airplane that I've ever had the privilege to fly. It's second to none in terms of uh, commercial aviation. And that exemplifies the quality of the people who work on this airplane every single day. I've been working for Boeing for uh, just going on right at 15 years. Since 1989. 23 years. Going on 25 years. Five and a half years now. It'll be 24 years in June. I remember flying a foam model airplane off of the treehouse my dad built. Ever since I was young, it was my bicycle, you know, playing with that, taking it apart, and trying to make it better. And then it moved to motorcycles and then cars. I like working with my hands. I like building things. I always have, ever since I was little. I, I think this uh, is something that is, is an art form. I couldn't have been four years old, but I, I remember to this day flying that airplane over and over again, making my dad run in the yard, grab it, bring it back to the treehouse. I had an auto mechanics class when I was a senior in high school. I showed up on Monday, didn't show back up till Friday. He says, welcome back. Time for the test. I missed two questions on his test. He got me a job out in town at a garage. He said, there ain't nothing I can teach you. I think working on airplanes, you get people who are fascinated by airplanes. When an airplane flies over, you can tell the airplane people because they look up. The actual spirit of Boeing is the men and women who build the airplane. The mechanics, the sealers, the plumbers, the electricians, the riggers, the functional test guys. These folks are the best in the world at what they do. And they will perform at whatever level is required to deliver the perfect airplane. The people who build all of these airplanes are incredibly smart, incredibly dedicated. I see a lot of artists and musicians working in these jobs, guys that like things that are concrete and and, and practical, but at the same time, they maybe think a little bit abstract. There's a lot of creativity involved with these individuals. It's like an orchestra, you know, you've got all of these people moving in unison. A ribbon gun, bucket and bar, a drill motor. Those are the instruments, those are actual instruments. It's a crazy orchestration, putting this airplane together, joining it, and in three days, getting it ready for someone to actually put systems on. When you look at what it takes to put this product together, it's the people applying their hands, their knowledge, their desire to be successful to the actual parts, tools, and engineering of this product to bring it all together. Almost every, everything that we do is hands-on. It's all hand-driven, hand-done, hand-worked. It's built by hands. It's not a soulless machine that's building it. Every little bit, every little part, however small, is important to what we're doing. The Boeing Company is actually its own little city within a city. It's the world's largest building by volume. But you walk in here and it's, it's really awe-inspiring, and the airplanes are awe-inspiring, and they're stories tall. You know, when I think back on this program, it was exhilarating to build the first airplane. It's equally as exciting to deliver the thousandth. There's no reason why we shouldn't see 2,500 or 3,000 of these large airplanes in service 
in the next 15 years. Some of these people that are here on the 777 have been here since the very first airplane. And they will be here for the thousands of airplanes coming through. It's pretty, um, pretty impressive to know that I've been working on a thousand of these airplanes. It's almost, almost unimaginable. There is no doubt in my mind this is one of the finest teams on earth. There's a huge level of talent here at Boeing. It's an art and we're artists. We build the best airplane in the air and we intend to keep doing it. When you take pride in your work, you enjoy working. If there wasn't any passion building this airplane, it wouldn't get done. How can you not love building one of these? I love building airplanes. I like to come to work. I like to keep the cogs on this machine rolling. Every single one of those airplanes has a piece of everybody that's ever done any job on that. I came to the realization that I was a third generation aerospace worker. My mom, my dad, my cousins, my uncle. <laughs> I still want to be able to say to my friends or to somebody in the airport, that is something that I build. That is my airplane. It was nice to like say, hey, I put that wing on there. That one's mine. <laughs> and my, you know, I have kids, and when, they are, when we're driving in the car, we see an airplane flying up in the sky. What one's that, Dad? And I could have just pointed out to him and tell him, did you paint that? And I said, yeah, I did. There's a lot of mom and dads, a lot of brothers and sisters that are flying on these airplanes that are counting on you to do the best. When you can be part of a product like the 777 that changes the world, that allows regions, countries, companies to grow and prosper, that's huge. I think the ability to bring people face to face, handshake to handshake, hug to hug, has an, an immediate impact in the shape of the world. That completes the uh, four engine start and uh, we are ready to start engine number two. Roger.